Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. The last few days were a little bit difficult for me because of the van, of course, it is always the van. I had some emotional struggles because again, I hit some bumps. <laughs> along my way of the conversion. I had my ups and downs because my car at the moment is at a mechanic and he promised me actually to be ready with the van before Christmas on this Saturday. He probably won't be able to do it because he has struggles finding the spare parts for the van. And this is a little bit of a setback for me. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I'm feeling a little bit emotionally drained sometimes, you know, because the van is not only my house, the van is also my work <laughs> and allows me to be really independent. And at the moment, this is not the case. I have to constantly wait till the van is done so I can keep working on a van. So I am a little bit dependent on the other people, but I don't want to cry about it all over and over again. I just wanted to tell you that there are bumps on the way. But um, nevertheless, today we are going to actually talk about those pipes i told you this is pretty much the last thing i have to do before the van is ready to hit back on the road but the problem is <laughs> the stove that i ordered it is from canada it took almost more than a month to arrive here in europe the stove itself is beautiful aesthetically amazing but the problem is with those kind of stove that the flue pipes that the company actually recommends you to use they don't really exist in europe so i had really really hard struggles to get the right pipe and to just find them i didn't want to order online again uh, from america because then i would have to pay another uh, tax fee and it would take again too too long so my fastest solution was after making tons and tons of researches online i figured out to construct uh, my own double pipe and by the way these are my information i'm nearly not a professional in this kind of stuff this is the as i said my first time dealing with this but i'm giving you my thoughts and my creation based on my researches that are surrounded to be constructed for my type of van every van is different so every van has different uh, possibilities in terms of build out in terms of space so I hope it will help some of you especially if you order something from the US or Canada into Europe the challenge for me is always to to work things out with my knowledge and with less tools with less stuff trying to make the best out of what I have we're gonna try it today we're gonna see if it works out the way I imagine it because I know sometimes all those videos that we watch can be intimidating because it seems like everybody has it sorted out and to start the process seems sometimes really difficult if in my case or in your case we don't have much knowledge about the topic at all but um, coming back to the pipes I decided to build my own kind of a twin wall pipes you have to know there are three different types of flue pipes as you see these are single pipes they only have one layer of metal and it has normally those kind of rings to it that you attach to the next pipe and these are actually recommended when you go through the wall let's say you have a chimney a stove a wood stove in your house and it is surrounded by 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 the uh, how do you say that by your wall <laughs> you know by the cement of your wall already because this one of course releases more heat out it's just one it doesn't have much insulation or nothing at all then you have to imagine there is something like that and this is what actually my stove requires a double wall pipe double wall as the name says already consists of two metal pieces so you have to imagine this piece as it is and it has another one just so you have like exactly the same thing but two times a little bit small of course so it fits inside double wall allows you that the heat that goes up is protected from another layer of metal of steel um, unfortunately as i mentioned before we don't have those pipe in europe i looked everywhere 
everywhere online not online i looked everywhere and i really really couldn't find any we have the single pipe we have the double wall pipe and then we have the twin flue pipes oh wait a second i actually have a twin pipe too. this is a twin pipe so you see you have a pipe inside you have insulation around and then you have the the outer pipe so this protects even more with the pipe from uh, losing heat a month ago i went to that company who was mainly focused on providing pipes i wanted to have a customized i wanted to have black pipes because it fits perfectly to my black stove after we kind of agreed on the twin wall pipe i figured out that this big piece of chunk is really big and heavy in my case my van is not that big my van is pretty small and it was taking way too much room so after i saw that i also had a problem that you know those oh that as you see the company gave me this weirdly made pipe that you even can take out and this is something that should not be the case i was really really dis disappointed in that company because i waited a month but after all the quality of it was so bad that it fell apart so i was really upset i still had to pay at least this piece because um i ordered it and i said no no i i cannot handle it what can i do to make this installation work so i was bumping on a lot of problems a lot of thinking a lot of research since i don't have the double wall pipe i thought about creating a twin wall pipe and this is eight centimeter and this is 13 so it gets really large and i thought okay what can i do that it is protected and insulated i'm gonna take an eight centimeter um single pipe and put 10 centimeter single pipe around it and create the own insulation part so um i would say we would we start and on a way i'll explain you what i do so let's get started i have this rim and this rim is gonna come on top because i have two parts i measured everything out in the van and how tall everything has to be so i know exactly how much I need to cut. This is going to be the inside pipe, which is the eight centimeter diameter pipe. And it's gonna be the pipe that connects to the stove itself because the pro other problem was that I didn't mention before is when you order something from the US or, or Canada, you have everything in inches. <laughs> the opening of the stove is three inch. So this one is the closest I could get, which is the eight centimeter. I've seen so many YouTube videos and none of them really talked about the pipes too much. Everybody was talking about the installation of the stove, but I think the pipes are a big part and deciding on which pipe you want to get because everything, everything inside the van should be really secure, especially if you have a wood stove in a van, right? Mm -hmm. insulation is really flexible you don't have those those mineral wool fibers coming out uh, to protect it you can even touch it and it is squeezable you see so the, the, the good thing about this is we have the possibility to wrap this let's say around I literally forgot the keys upstairs so I can't go up to get a scissor to cut the insulation wall. What I also noticed before, as I, as I put the rims on, as I tried to put the pipe on top of it, I noticed because of the rim, it wouldn't go in. So luckily I had aluminum type and glued it on top to hold it together. It's really, really tight. I think it's a good alternative instead of using those rims. Uh, just wanted to tell you that. So maybe at the joints that you have to put through, avoid those rims and maybe use the aluminum foil tape. I just need to find something here around now to cut because I locked myself out. I don't know. Here's nothing. I don't know where to search. <sighs> Why is that always happening? My head was just here and then I forgot the key. 
Okay, let's see. Oh my god, guys. I was just looking around and I found those. And I tried to make some cuts here. And it kind of worked. There you go. So it's like... I feel like a teppanyaki <laughs> grill master. I kind of just try to slice this now. I kind of made it and cut it really ugly. So what I'm gonna do is first take this aluminum foil band because it's not it's super heat resistant and it glues really well. Like I'm really surprised how good it glues. Let me see. I also decided, I mean, it probably makes more sense for me to travel again once the holidays are over and New Year's Eve are over because I also don't really want to spend it alone. I'm gonna do it now all the way up because even if my van gets ready a little bit earlier, it doesn't make much sense for me to travel uh, already because I wanna, because I don't know, I'd rather have a little bit of company. Uh, on Christmas and New Year's Eve. What are you going to do? Probably spend it with your family, right? Unless you're traveling as well in a van. Then I don't know, maybe some of you spend it alone. The only wish I have for Christmas is that my van gets ready. <laughs> I really don't need anything else except of that. I just want the van to be ready. <coughs> so, Santa, if you hear me. Please make my van ready as fast as possible. Don't let me wait so long. After I wrapped it up, this is how it looked like. But then I noticed it was so thick that I couldn't squeeze it into the second pipe. So I had to do it all over again. I got rid of all the insulation, broke it into half. Doing the best I can I wanted to say That you're my second skin I You're part of my brain Extensions of my limbs And I hope you know I'll keep in mind The way that will always remind me I hope you know You're not left behind I'm doing the best I can I wanted to say you're my second skin I you're part of my brain Extensions of my limbs This is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen in my life this is the finished result. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm really actually proud. I think it's way better than the company actually did. Everything is really tight. It's perfectly insulated. Nothing can fall out. It's pretty solid. I'm gonna explain you why I left this part of silver. This is the part, as you also see, that goes a little bit wider because this is the part that kind of pops out of the roof. Why did I do that? <clears throat> well, first of all, in order to protect the roof and the ceiling from burning and getting too much of the heat, I want this to be really thick. The minimum of having insulation is 13 millimeter. And when I actually ordered it before, <clears throat> it was all the way 13 millimeter. And I thought, wow, that looks massive since the stove is really just that tiny. So I thought about idea, how can I shrink this part? So I constructed this part with the 10 millimeter and the eight millimeter in the underneath that you see is also insulated. Of course, it is nicely insulated. So it has a little fair bit good of protection. And I think it is a really, really beautiful solution for not having something that is too overpowering big in the van, saving a little bit of space. And especially for the European market, if you buy European stoves, you probably won't have any problems. But if you buy stuff that comes from overseas, it is difficult to find the proper, proper hardware. So I think this creation actually provides it really, really well. For now, we are done with the build out. We just have to wait till the van is ready so we can install this into the van and make a hole and seal it up. But this will be part two in the next videos. I hope to see you soon. I hope you like this build out. Uh, maybe it helps you out and I'll see you soon. Bye. So we are done with the build out.
are just testing the stove and it looks like it's working. Beautiful.